colitis is the most common form of eczema. It afflicts more than 31.6 million adults. It is typically due to an overactive TH2 inflammatory system. And we also do know that there has been evidence of mutation or dysfunction in the filaggrin protein in our skin barrier. Filaggrin is important for our natural moisturizing factors of our skin lipid barrier. So without it, our skin becomes dry and leaky and more prone to eczema. We also do know there's some environmental factors as well as some irritant factors. We also do know that stress plays a role in eczema flares as well. Um, so we do have see a lot of increased inflammatory responses, including cortisol, interleukin-4, and 13. With atopic dermatitis, we know that there's a lot of comorbidities, including increase in stress, increase in anxiety, decrease in ability to sleep well, and also increased chronic itch. So in addition to treating their eczema, we do want to treat some of these comorbidities, which include some integrative modalities. So most commonly, I do speak to my patients about stress relieving mechanisms, including yoga, meditation, um, and other kind of tai chi or other modalities to help them address their stress. But in addition, eczema, because it requires a lot of moisturizing and topical treatments, patients are very interested in using natural moisturizers, vitamins, and minerals to help boost their immune system. So with, for our care, we wanna make sure that we're addressing this for our patients to make sure that it is something that's helping their eczema and not potentially causing a further irritant or contact dermatitis. Any specific criteria to determine if a patient requires integrative treatments. For me, it requires just speaking to the patient and families to know what their own beliefs and cultural beliefs are that are helping determine their eczema care at home. So for me, I want to make sure that they are on board with some of the topical moisturizers and we're making sure we're using moisturizers, whether they're sunflower oil or coconut oil, things that will not irritate the skin further. And there's also sometimes hesitancy to use some of the topical creams prescribed. So we wanna also help identify some natural treatments that could help boost the immune system. Um, I, where I'm also talking about supplements, one, to make sure that they're using some of the right supplements, but also some supplements can contain dyes and other allergens that can actually make eczema worse. So we try to incorporate a holistic approach to work with the patient and any integrative modality providers that they work with, including Chinese herbalists and acupuncture providers. This is because eczema is commonly associated with chronic itch, which leads to worsening stress um, and impacted sleep. So we do know that patients require this care and it's helpful if we can help integrate it for them and make sure that they know what they're using and why and using it in the most appropriate fashion. Mm -hmm.